Hi, my name is James. The topic for this video is about optimizing a zirconia butt mint so we can get a good color on it. Usually zirconia is really opaque. Our abutment material is a 3Y material, which means it's really opaque. Sometimes it's hard to get that to work aesthetically. In my clinic with theater, I will optimize my zirconia abutment by placing infiltration, a coloring system, into the zirconia before we center. However, before we get to that topic, just a little side note. I'm standing here in the Clem Institute studio up at my homestead. What we're doing is we're remodeling our pump house. We'll have about 500 square feet. And this is where I'm gonna have a lot of my digital equipment. I'm working with Ivy Claire on their new system and I'll still have Prime Scan and Prime Mill here as well. And this is where a lot of the content is gonna be created in the future. This is a transition for me in my career, even though I'm still at my practice, I'm getting some help there. So I can spend more time up here, hanging out with my dogs, getting creative with the natural nature that I experience up here. I tell you, when my mind gets quiet up here and I just experience that peace right here in my heart, I get really creative and that's when good ideas come. This is where we're gonna do content creation for materials, applications. I'll do clinical beta testing up here as well. And this is also where I'm gonna address We Talk Dentistry. Our broadcasting studio will be in here as well. And uh, fortunately we have Starlink and it's working pretty well here. Our speed is really nice and I'm looking forward to doing a lot more from my homestead in the future on a weekly basis. But let's get back to the zirconia abutment. Once the zirconia abutment is milled, I use the F2 in chorus. So we're gonna go ahead and infiltrate. My favorite infiltration system for all zirconias is a Zircad coloring system by Ivaclair. There's a lot of colors that come with this kit and there's other videos on this site and on YouTube that goes through the various applications for infiltration. I'm a real fan, particularly with my crowns, on using my base colors. If I need additional base colors, even on the aesthetic zirconias that we have on the market today, we're gonna use infiltration to amplify the base colors, particularly on bridges, on those connector zones. We can tone those in and make the base core colors look really nice. And that way, when we amplify the final aesthetic, sometimes it's just polishing, and other times I'll use Mio to enhance the color so we can get bridges and single units looking really nice. So that's the protocol I use for my zirconia. Infiltration is the foundation. Now, with the Zircad LT coloring system, for abutments, it's really simple. I'm gonna use the A2 color. When you start using infiltration, you'll get a feel for the application effect and the final coloring. For abutments, we're gonna make it really easy. We're gonna use three to four applications. The solution needs to be fresh. To prepare the solution, I'm gonna place about 20 drops into a jar and then place in the dye and mix it. I do need that dye so I can see the colors when we're applying the applications. With the Ivyclar system, there's three brushes that come with the kit. I advise just getting the kit so it will be there for you. And if you watch the other videos that I have produced, I couldn't live without infiltration when I'm working on zirconia. Take the medium sized brush and load it with your infiltration solution and then apply three to four applications. You'll see that as you apply it, it will absorb like a sponge before you apply the next layer. I have found with experience on the Encores F2 that three to four layers will give me somewhere a zone of A3 to A4. What it does is it takes the zirconium abutment and tones it down and lowers the value. When you do place a restoration on that zirconia, 
it'll have that deeper color. You'll get some saturation colors shine through and it just looks a lot better like in this case here. This is a Emacs A2 to match the second premolar. We did use meal to tone in the color of that crown. When we cement on a toned down zirconia abutment, it has that rich color that shines through the cervical area. We did not drop the margins on this zirconia abutment and we still get a nice blend in that zone. So this is the basic approach I use when I'm using a zirconia abutment. I'll tone it down with infiltration to get a warmer color. And then when you do cement your final restoration, it looks really, really nice. And it's a routine procedure that I do in my clinical theater. So thanks for watching the video. If you have any comments or questions, make sure you post them below. Often I will respond to them. It may be on my blog on the ClementInstitute.com website. And that's where I have other training videos extensively. I have them for CEREC at this time, and I'll be adding them for other systems in the future. I'm really looking forward to the next decade of training. I'll be adding a lot more software options in. We are at a crossroad where we have so many more options with materials, support, products, and also the softwares and machining and the quality that we're getting now. It is surpassing the precision and quality of analog dentistry. And what does that mean for me? More efficiency in my clinical theater, more predictability, which means I'm happier at the end of the day. I love sharing my journey and what makes a difference for me and share your journey as well with your comments below. I'll talk to you in that next video. Bye now.